Esteban, I know you have thought about your first Major League home run probably many times. Did you think it would come in your first start? Eh, has estado pensando mucho en tu primer jornada en la Grandes Ligas. ¿Nos puedes llevar cómo fue ese momento? Eh, nada, primeramente, gracias a Dios, este, solo salí a hacer un buen contacto y gracias a Dios las cosas salieron como, como Dios quería. First of all, thank God, I just be there and trying to make a good contact and everything, everything get in my way. Yeah, you did make some good contact there. That was your second hit of the afternoon against Marco Gonzalez. I know the team was looking for some insurance runs, but how were you approaching that and what were you looking for? Eh, claro que supimos que fue tu segundo hit porque... Ay, I know your family is back home in Venezuela watching you and your first start today. Do you have a message for them back home? ¿Cómo se siente tu familia en Venezuela ahorita que, que, que pegaste tu primer jonrón? Nada, deben de estar súper contentos, súper feliz. Este, hoy hablé con mi familia, le dije que sentía que podía dar un visito por lo menos y nada, gracias a Dios salió y deben de estar súper contentos de mi actuación hoy. I talked to my family today and I tell them I feel great. I, I think I can get a hit today and thank God I got a homer and a, and a hit, so I think they're pretty happy too. You sure did. Thanks for the time. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys. Got some fans out here hanging out on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, made even brighter with the big W, Bobby V, but no one is happier than one Levon Soto, the Trash Pandas, uh, basically the crown jewel right now of this Angels minor league system. A lot of great prospects there. Had the opportunity to get called up because of the Fletcher injury. Uh, and this is a guy, it's like, who is Levon Soto? He was signed as an international free agent from Atlanta uh, back in 2016. Then he comes, he gets signed by by this Angels team and and boy what a what a great young man what a great story but what a great success he had in double a and it translated today here at the big club yeah as you mentioned Frenchie a lot of young players are having very good years at double a going into the playoffs but you know he got ice thrown out on him after the game but <laughs> I watched this guy play the whole game he was cool he wasn't was it uh, hot or overexcited he gets a ground ball here in, early in the game he takes it and just flicks it across the infield he does doesn't overthrow it, one hop it, or throw it in the stands like I might have done when I was his age. And then he takes a nice little swing, relaxed, gut gets firm in the front side, gets a tough left-hander in his first game in the major leagues, flicks it in the right field and says, yeah, I thought I was going to do something like that. But I don't think. When he woke up this morning, when he got to the ballpark, when he looked at the lineup card, did he think he was going to do this in his first at-bat or his first game in the major leagues? Beautiful swing, easily stroked. When he hit it, he knew it was gone. I like watching him only one day. I know you can't judge something when you see it at its best, and maybe he's at his best right now. But it was a real good look today. 364 feet on his first career home run. As I mentioned, his first career start in the big leagues, getting it done, hitting over 280 down in double A. You know, his teammates down there were happy for him. His family back home, happy for him as well. And injury breeds opportunity. And right now, he's taking advantage of a great opportunity here with the big club.